Sustainable tourism is about meeting your needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. And it's more than just implementing these into your objectives or your strategic plan. These need to be implemented and practiced every single day. As you've probably gathered, Cam Pongle does an excellent job at this. We're gonna go through and see if we can uncover how they achieve this success. We're gonna do this by exploring the three pillars of environmental, economic, and people. And if we're lucky, we might even find some future development plans in there too. Come follow me on the journey. Mm -hmm. First, um, we segregate our food waste. There are bins on every corner, in every room, in every tent here. Don't waste food. See, edible, we just feed our domestic cow and buffalo. And uh, non-veg, like chicken and all, we feed dogs. And anything that the animals can't or won't eat, they you then put into a worming bin. We pick all the plastic from the, the trails and we have a one year stock plastic waste mm -hmm. from camp on the waste warrior is doing a very good job here all the uh, the dry waste so they come and collect it oh, okay. and they recycle it they also have a water filter tank so that way if you're going off the camp they give you a water bottle that you can fill up rather than using plastic bottles that you're just going to throw out later at night time they use fire instead of lights under the main area and also to light the footpaths they use lanterns we have six mud houses the materials that are used to make the mud huts are very self-insulating you know mud stone you know yeah and waste wood basically during the winter time you don't need any heaters to stay warm but also during the summer or when the sun's out in general it's very very cool inside the mud hut they're getting these from the local community so people are cleaning up the community with these leaves that aren't being used for anything else um, and they're buying them off locals and then also using them in their accommodation i think the owners of camp hornbill have done a really good job of explaining their environment to us in terms of ways that we will be able to understand it and particularly with Sekhard he has done a good job of relating things that we see to things that we have in Australia so he will ask if we have a certain plant in Australia and if we don't he'll tell us what it does and he will talk to us about certain fruits and like what regions they come from and they do a really good job of explaining things in terms that we can all understand rather than just pointing things out to us that we would have no idea about. They actually listen to things that you request and then they try and bring them to you without you asking. I love fruit. I asked for that about twice on our first day and then every meal since then I've gotten a whole plate of fruit to myself. We are in a service industry, so if we interact with people, then we know, okay, yeah, this kind of meal had been given. Yeah. Oh my god, my favorite! Wow, isn't that service brilliant? That is amazing service. <laughs> that to me sounds like service dominant logic. Definitely. Yeah. First priority from the village only. You know, mm. these, all the boys is basically our friends, you know. Mm. Balwant, mm. uh, one guy. Uh, he is leading you to the biking. Yes, you know, yesterday. He he is very not uh, very good with English, but he is very good with adventure. Mm -hmm. So I know he is a very good if I push him in adventure activities. Mm -hmm. If if we have you know a skill in my village, then it's very good to employ people, and and he's reasonable and he's a trusted guy. So this is the shop where we get our camp veggies. Background. Our background yeah. is not business. We are basically a middle class, small farmer. Their primary purpose really is encouraging people's entrepreneurial skills, which further helps them develop their own business within the village. There is quite a few projects going on within the community. So we have five, six offshoot of Camp One Bay. So offshoot, again, decentralizing the, the economy or money. So that's why the Machan project, mm. that's why the adventure wild, yeah, if we spread out our team, spread our team, then we, yeah, then more people engage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not mm. for all money, not for Camp Hornville people. And if people from the village empower, you know, they can save wildlife, you know, mm. not outsider. Mm. 